This is sad news. Sadly, I need to terminate your employment. I'm sorry? I need to terminate your employment. For what reason? Uh, no reason other than I need to terminate your employment and certainly you can collect unemployment. Uh, I'm very sorry that it didn't work out. Uh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm just confused as to why this wasn't brought up to me before or given me, you know, had discussions with me before about this. Isn't there a procedure that you have in your handbook that states you go through a process and then... There's no process. You can be terminated. This is an at-will state. You can be terminated for no reason. Hey everybody, it's Nikki Febs, and it is already a fantastic start to the last week of Febs Gets Fit. So, um, future Febs here, just kind of jumping in really quickly to clarify something, which was that I, if you notice, I'm sitting in the same position, because this is where I like to sit and edit now that I have my bar stools, whatever. Um, I happen to have been recording the intro and outros of the Febs Gets Fit episodes, part one and two, when my boss did call me, and the camera was just on. And then yes, I did decide to keep the camera still running just because she called me and she left me a fake pocket dial voicemail and the whole thing just felt incredibly off. But there was no like, this isn't planned, this wasn't staged, nothing like that. This wasn't, I expected this, so I already had the camera ready. Like I was just filming for Fabs Gets Fit episodes three, part one and two, when this shitty thing happened. And I feel like I do have to clarify that I just can't be fucked to deal with any empty threats from a obsolete woman. And I know that sounds very cunty, but so does terminating someone in a pandemic without any fucking reason. So basically this morning I was super productive. I woke up, it was my uh, day off and I woke up I think around like nine or 10. And I just have been sitting here at this bar, editing my videos, trying to get a lot of stuff done. I had an issue where somebody tried stealing my card information back in September. And even now in January, it's an issue. So my Amazon account got locked. So I had to call them. And that was really frustrating because they were like, oh, you didn't get this email that we were supposed to send you? And I was like, no, you never sent the email. And they're like, oh, well, I guess we'll send it now. You have to wait like 24 to 48 hours. Thankfully, I did just actually get back in it, so yay for a positive. But then, of course, my computer wasn't working when I was trying to edit this footage. Um, I was on the phone with Apple for about two and a half hours trying to figure all this out. It just turns out like I need more storage space. Even though I have nothing on this computer, it's just not a computer that is good for editing. So that's great. And then my former boss just called me and terminated my employment. <laughs> and I think the worst situation the worst thing about that entire situation is the fact that like i knew this was a horrible job the horrible employers horrible employees a strong personality i don't vibe always with others i thought it was tolerable i thought it was manageable i guess not she wouldn't give me reasons until i asked and then the reasons she gave me weren't really grounds for termination but she said we're in at, we're in an at will state she told me i could apply for unemployment i can't i was an employee there for three and a half months not six the worst part about this entire situation is just the fact that like i don't want to do any of these jobs <laughs> i and trust me, like, it's not like I'm upset because I want to be a YouTuber. Like, YouTube has always been fun. YouTube has always been an escape for me. When I quit, I had to grow up and learn life a little, you know? And it wasn't really quitting. It was just, I never, I never definitively said I'm quitting. It was just like a, I don't want to film videos at the moment. This isn't what I want to do with my life, but it is a way that I can move forward and be my own boss and get opportunities that I wouldn't normally get. And it just sucks because as well as this is going, it's not, it's not going to the point where I can afford to not have a standard job. And I know people are gonna be like, get over it, that's life. Everybody has different views and everyone has different dreams, hopes and goals and I'm not planning on sacrificing mine anytime soon and it's just frustrating because I basically have to start from square one at a job that I'm 
I'm not gonna really care too much about and I don't want to do for a long time and stress for the next couple weeks applying for jobs and not hearing back and wondering if I'm you know financially okay or not and it's just I think that sucks I mean it not I think that sucks I know that sucks this is <laughs> God, I think in almost every vlog style video I've filmed, I'm crying in it. Except the first three weeks of Feb Gets Fit, that was no tears that you saw on camera. Actually, I didn't cry. And I thought to myself this week, I haven't had like a bawling, crying moment in a couple of weeks now. And, oh, I started crying when the computer wasn't working. Like it was just, it's not, it's frustration, you know? Like, I'm not sad, I'm frustrated, I'm embarrassed. I'm not, I'm, I'm terrified, I'm anxious, but I'm not sad about this. Like, if anything, this is a weight off my shoulders. I don't have to deal with this shitty place ever again. I don't have to deal with these simple-minded people ever again, but I'm gonna have to go to a new shitty place and deal with new simple-minded people. And it's just like, I thought I could blag my way through this one and obviously I, I, I couldn't. Obviously I could not subside my emotions and that's just the type of person I am. And it's like, yeah, but let's work on that a bit more. You know, it kind of sucks that I am this emotional and this take everything so personally, but I do feel like a lot of things are personal and it's just not gonna change. I hope, I mean, I hope it changes. I'm gonna try to change it. I am gonna think um, a little positively because I can spend the whole week Focusing on this and focusing on that. Focusing on ending this month strong and strong with my fitness. This isn't a shitty start to the week. This is a shitty end to a shitty week. We're gonna make this week great. We're gonna make this week worth it. And if I have to start on OnlyFans, I have to start a fucking OnlyFans. So Monday was very much so my rest day. It's not Monday anymore, it is half one, uh, so Tuesday morning. It just, you know, had a day. It took a day to wallow and be pissed and be upset and acknowledge what I did. Cause I know I, it was a big part of my fault. Like I just couldn't hold back my emotions anymore. I couldn't hold back how I was feeling anymore. I couldn't like let it stuff down. And that's like a big problem with me because even though I didn't care about that job, I didn't see myself in that job for more than like a year maybe, I don't know, depending on what how life works out. Uh, I'm giving myself a manicure because all of the acrylics snapped off or then half of them snapped off and then I just got so sick of it, I ripped them off at <laughs> my last day of work. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, acknowledging things, facing yourself in a really hard way and I'm kind of sick of doing it because I do it a lot. Like I know, I know the type of person I am. And I know I don't rub people always the right way, but I'm kind of sick of that being my problem. And I know that sounds really arrogant and stupid and narcissistic and victimizing and shit, but it, you know, don't know what else to say. So it's nearly 2 a.m. and I'm giving myself a manicure because why the fuck not? Also, I slept all day, so I'm wide awake. Um, but tomorrow I'm gonna be back at it because I don't like this depressive vibe. I don't like that my last week is not gonna be strong and I want it to be strong because I've been doing very well and I'm really proud of how much weight I've been losing and how healthy and more active I'm being and just noticing little changes and like even in my face like I don't have as much fat in my face and like there's not as much puffiness in the mornings when I wake up and like those are all good things and it's hard to remember when you're you know replaying that lovely phone call in your head over and over again but um tomorrow I'll be back at it or today in a couple hours I'll be back at it is it not a Nikki motherfucking Fev's video if I don't do it in a towel or some inappropriate dress stuff? Um, so it's Tuesday. Monday was definitely the rest day. It was the depression day. I slept all day. I didn't like eat or binge, which I'm really proud of myself about, but I did just not want to do 
fuck all. And then like last night I didn't go to sleep until like maybe 4 a.m. And at one point I was like, I'm gonna do my nails. So I started doing my own acrylics. Um, they're pretty dope to be honest. I mean, I don't know how long they're gonna last. They're better with the, what the guy did. And like I have all like the equipment and stuff, <laughs> except the electric file. But yeah, so since I've gotten up to right now, it's about 4.30, I've just been on FaceTime with my friend, my best friend Karen, and we've been chatting shit and just kind of, she's been helping me and distracting me and vice versa. And then I did the row. I did one row for 45 minutes. It was fucking tough. I did it on five and four, and I did 30 minutes on five and 15 on four. And it was, oh no, 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 I did more. No, 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 that's right. <clears throat> and so now I'm gonna get in the shower and I do have to do laundry, but also at the same time, I'm gonna expose myself. All of this is clean. Does anybody else like do that? They just like throw their clean clothes in the closet or like pe people like meme about it being on a chair and they move it back and forth. Yeah, it's driving me nuts. So after I get out of the shower, I'm gonna do another load of laundry and then I'm gonna start this. And by the time that laundry finishes, I will have finished putting clothes away, I hope. I really hope I don't like say fuck it at the end of it, but <laughs> this is driving me nuts. Also, cause like I go to like put on a sports bra or like just put on like casual clothes I like to wear all the time and I have to dig through this pile of like crap. Okay, yeah, so I am going to jump into the shower and then honestly, I might even do another one tonight just because yesterday was so, like like I said, I didn't, I didn't really eat too much or eat much of anything at all. It was just a matter of like, I want to sleep all day. I don't feel like doing this. This shit sucks. New week. It's a new day. I am very happy that I've been able to stay on track. I am very happy that I did this today and I'm going to get a lot of shit done today and I'm going to do like personal stuff and like, you know, I think there's some exciting things coming in February and I really hope you guys subscribe and like the videos and enjoy and subscribe to whatever else I plan on doing. don't know what to do with those after a shower and sitting here for like 20 minutes organizing I have my whole closet hung up and ready to go I really hate the way it looks but I can't be bothered to color coordinate I'm, I, I did enough with the sleeves but yeah this is how I spent the rest of my day now I'm gonna go make myself dinner and probably just chill I'm not really feeling like doing too much stuff today and I think tomorrow is gonna be the day that like I am a bit more active so Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next clip. I'll never understand the people who are like, we want another bra video from the video that I did six years ago. And yet they never watch these videos. Cause if they did, they'd see I'm like partially naked in almost all of the videos. You know, honestly, I don't see a point in having to get into full workout kit when you're in your own home. As long as I have a sports bra on, and like not a thong, I'm good to go. But good morning, it's Wednesday. I only have one hand done. I did it myself, so if you have an issue, I don't care. <laughs> it's actually better than what most people do for me because they always make it round and annoying. Um, it's like 20 minutes to 11. Um, I'm using some elbow grease on my horrible elbows. And I've decided today, you know what, let me just go get my groceries, get my errands done get my life together somewhat. So I'm gonna venture to Trader Joe's because honestly, it's pretty friggin' cheap. I know that every week I'm talking about how like, it's put into perspective something about like life, but in all actuality, my groceries used to cost me a lot of fucking money. Like, a lot of money. Everyone would be like, oh, go here, it's so cheap. And I'd go there and then my groceries would be like 70 bucks and it'd be like for six items because of what I was purchasing, if I'm being honest. All I was purchasing was processed crap. I wasn't really buying too many fruits and vegetables, and when I was, I was buying the most expensive fruits and vegetables there was, for no friggin' reason. But because I was buying all this processed stuff, those prices don't really change. Yes, like, they'll go down in places like Walmart or if you're buying bulk, but there's still processed items that are gonna be a minimum of five to six dollars. It's just something to think about. I don't really ever feel ashamed but it is kind of embarrassing when you go to like a health food store and all you buy is junk food and you're buying like the healthy version of the junk food. 
I've been feeling really good personally. The beginning of this week might have been a financial setback at the moment, but I have a couple of ideas and plans that hopefully will work out for the future and I can just kind of focus on doing things I want to do instead of doing things I have to do to make an income. I'm not going to put it in the title, but I think on Valentine's Day there will be a bra video 2.0. Alrighty, back from Trader Joe's. Didn't think about filming just because I wanted to get in and get out. I was in there for like maybe 20 minutes total and that was enough. Wednesdays, fun fact, I didn't know if you guys know this. Um, Wednesdays is the day that Trader Joe's gets all their stuff. So there are people like, it was packed and there was just people doing inventory and adding stuff. So we've got four bags of spinach because I eat one whole bag of spinach in my serving because it's what, 35 calories? Three. Four. I will say my checkout bag is kind of an asshole. That's what you get when your name is Richard. You're just a real dick. Oh, these might not be great. I got these gluten-free everything bagels. I don't know why, but ever since like two days ago, I've been craving bagels. Not craving them, but I've been thinking about them. And I'm not gonna let food control my life like it did in the past. So if I want something, I'm gonna have something. And I already have cream cheese, so fuck it, you know? Oh, then I got real lettuce. I'm finally in the mood for real lettuce. I've just been in the mood for spinach for like two weeks now, and then this week in particular, I'm like, where's my real lettuce? I want lettuce. <laughs> Evolving, she's healthy, she loves a bit of lettuce. And, you know, every sense of the word lettuce. And she's accidentally going on a tolerance break because she doesn't want to spend money on things that she can't afford right now. I got apples. Pink lady apples to be precise, fucking love these. Lemons, because I squeeze them and put them in my water and green tea. Oh, we know how I felt last week, so I just went in and I bought them because they're very small, I will say. I've had these before, they're incredibly tiny. But for my little cravings, three in a serving, I mean, I guess, why not? I got my mozzarella. I actually really like the Trader Joe's mozzarella. They're huge pieces, and just the way when you melt them on things, it tastes so good. I did this with panko eggplant, so I actually have to go out because Trader Joe's didn't have panko or breadcrumbs in general, but panko breadcrumbs I fuck with heavy. And you put this on top of a panko breaded eggplant, oh my gosh. I mean, if you're into tomato sauce, definitely add tomato sauce. I don't really like tomatoes too much. I'm not really into red sauce. I think too much red sauce makes things taste like sick. It's weird. Um, but this cheese is actually dope, and it doesn't expire until May, which makes me a little nervous because it might be really processed, but regardless. Chicken. I found these huge chicken breasts the last time I was there that were all flattened out, and there was like five or six in the pack, and I couldn't find them again. I'm really like frustrated. I mean, this will do fine, because it's the same brand, same everything. Oh, and then this is a, a sheer Miss Remy Ashton Maybe Buy It purchase. Everything but the bagel uh, nut duo. I'm excited. She has this all the time. I saw this from her the, for the first time ever from months ago. I'm excited. We're gonna try this. So yeah, that's my little haul. Um, I know I washed my hair before my workout, but I'm just gonna do one later. Do two later maybe, who knows? I have nothing but time. Alrighty folks, so it is like hmm, 15 minutes past nine and I am getting on the row machine uh, and just been chilling, not doing much, not really the best. I have to like get myself into a better routine. Um, yeah, but so now I am finally, you know, I had my dinner. I didn't eat until like one. I had one of those gluten-free bagels, not my thing, not my thing. How the fuck can you guys eat gluten-free bread? It's just gum in your mouth. like so gummy and uncomfortable. And I was full from 1 p.m. until like seven. Like, congratulations, great. That's why you guys are eating it, because you're full for six hours. Gross, not my thing. But um, had one of my turkey burgers. But yeah, had my dinner, and then now it's 9.15, and I'm gonna row, row, row my boat and get myself moving and working again. Um, and then, yeah. I cannot see what this says. That's how, that you can see how low it is. Ah, oh, fuck. 
So, oh, sorry. Washing a bit of Marky. You can, I can't, I genuinely, the clip, I cannot see unless it's through the camera. So now it's, now it's all of a sudden brightened up. I can see it now. Jeez. So the Sunny, ugh, me and the track record with people named Sunny. The Sunny rowing machine batteries for this counter only last about a month, guys. And I use it once a day every day. And yes, last week I used it twice a day for like three or four days. But now, of course, I put this back and it's fine. Makes no sense. Also, it resets after 10,000, so I haven't done 74 total. That's just since it reset after 10,000. I've hit 10,000 like five or six times, something like that. I don't know. But yeah, 20 minutes in, 25 minutes in. Oh gosh, I'm really sweating. <laughs> sweating. I definitely think this extra five pounds does help. Let's bust it out. I just wanted to show you guys, like, as I was do, I was, it went from 21 to 24 in those three minutes, two minutes, uh, it died. It was dying. So, <sighs> all right, 45 minutes later, gotta get the clip from underneath my tits. <sighs> I'm sweating like crazy. I'm gonna take a freezing cold shower. That was the weighted vest. This. Come on. I'm gonna take a freezing cold shower. I'm gonna make some green tea. And I'm exhausted now. I'm gonna go to bed. Oh. So I will see you guys tomorrow, which is already Thursday. Monday, like, I just, <laughs> I just slept for most of Monday. So yesterday, or sorry, this morning, I woke up and I was like, it's Tuesday. No, it was, it's Wednesday today. So, <sighs> gotta keep on schedule. Even though we are not technically working, gotta keep my schedule. So when we do start working, which I think we have started working, it's gonna be great. Oh, gosh, <sighs> sweating. Oh, but you know what? It like only in the last five minutes did I start to feel like sick. You know when you get that feeling? Like, I never understood that like worked out so much I threw up feeling, but like right now in the last, let's say eight, cause I was gonna stop at 40 and then I just kept going. Oh yeah, <laughs> my lights. So I'm gonna shower, which you're not gonna see and I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Good morning everybody. I say it's morning, it's half 12, I woke up I mean, I woke up an hour ago, but I haven't gotten out of bed until now. Um, I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna start doing some work on my computer. I only got up because my booty bands got delivered and I was like, cannot get those stolen. I'm sit here, I'm gonna do some work, finish some things that I couldn't finish the other day. And then I think I'm gonna start my whole meal, meal, prep, st meal prep stuff. It's not really meal prepping, it is, but it's not. <laughs> Cause I'm kind of getting hungry, so I think I might make myself some breakfast slash lunch. Oh, I needed to log my water. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever. It's Thursday. Um, <laughs> I plan on applying for unemployment, signing up for OnlyFans, and doing a butt workout tonight. That, those are my plans, and like making a breakfast right now. So those are my plans, and I'll show them to you. I got really confident on Instagram story. I was like, it's done out here for you bitches, which is true. The second my ass gets back to its phenomenal status, it's done out here. I mean, this face, these boobs, that ass, please. 10, 9, 8. That's how it's going to go. That Professor X bullshit no more. Like, ugh. Dave, I love you for writing a song about me, but ooh. You really got to mention I ain't got an ass like that? Babe. My arrogance is wild. <laughs> Alrighty, like 15 minutes later, I have my breakfast. This is why I love, oh, I can't see it. This is why I love the Trader Joe's cheese because it's huge. You take one piece, which I think is only about 60 calories, you break it in half, you can put one top part on the egg and then the bacon and then the, egg, um, the cheese again. It's great. Also, I, um, 
I bought turkey bacon yesterday, which is something. This is my little sandwich. I did want something more than just lettuce as my like bread, so I did use a bun. Um, these buns I thought were gonna be like 320 calories. They're 150, which not the best, but still. My breakfast is under 500 calories. It's good, it's 1.30. It's gonna keep me full until whenever I wanna make dinner. And then in a little bit, I'm gonna meal prep and show you guys basically how I season my chicken and my spinach. <laughs> Cause you don't have to sacrifice seasonings. Like I don't understand people really like, yes, you can sacrifice butter and milk and like you don't have to fry your chicken. But like, I think paprika is 60 calories for like eight tablespoons. I don't know, like correct me if I'm wrong, but I sit here, I'm gonna have my breakfast. I'm gonna continue watching the fellas podcast with um, Cal Crazy and Chip because I enjoy UK YouTubers. And um, I think in a little while, I'm also gonna do a row. I didn't do one this morning. I mean, technically I didn't have it this morning. <laughs> but I think I might do one a little later and then one after dinner, just because I feel like being a bit more active and I like seeing the fact that I am going down on this scale and I want to keep that off and keep going. So what's like, this is fuel to get me going for my workout. Also, I think I was like, saying that I haven't had turkey bacon since I worked at a deli. Oh yes, the dishwasher is on, sorry. Um, I haven't had turkey bacon since I worked at a deli and like the smell of it is so nice. Like, oh, I understand why people like turkey bacon. I get it, I get it. Holy shit, I just took one bite of this. It's so good. Like, one egg, hard fried, medium fried. I mean, I don't like yolk. I do not like yolk, it freaks me out. No, not my thing. And I used to love it. That's how actually my mom got me into eggs, fun fact. She would make like breakfast for lunch or breakfast for dinner. It would be two eggs up, toast, hash brown, sausage, basically a lot of carbs. And then she just dunked the toast in the yellow. And that I used to be into that and now it's just not my thing. Not my thing at all, but this is fire. With this bun and the lettuce and the sriracha, Trader Joe's sriracha is fire. I don't know what people are saying, cause like, I get a lot of mixed reviews, but Trader Joe's sriracha is actually really fire. I mean, it's not the spiciest thing in the world, but still decent. It doesn't taste like ketchup. I like, cause I went online and people, it was like what to buy and what not to buy from Trader Joe's and people were like, don't even bother with the sriracha. It's like, what? It's great. I'm just weird like that, I guess. And I just remember to have everything but the bagel nuts. So if I get hungry later, maybe I'll just have those. Hmm. This is great, I'm very happy. Uh, hello, if I have shorter lighting. It is four o'clock and I'm about to bust out the row. Oh, you know what, you just reminded me. Let me get those batteries just in case it dies while I'm in the middle of the row. Um, I'm gonna do 45 minutes, I have my little weight thing on. I'm in leggings today, what? And I'm gonna bust this out, I'm feeling very energetic. Maybe it's because I had a coffee at one o'clock in the afternoon because I, you know, <laughs> woke up at noon. But I'm also feeling really good and really confident. The choices I'm making, the things I'm about to do, I'm ready, I'm excited, I am. Tana, I'm coming for you. Uh, side men and girl and powder puff girls. I want to be your best friends. Let's get it, okay? This <laughs> is really crazy how like a fitness journey has given me the confidence that I was starting to build for myself in college and like it did take gaining a lot of weight and going celibate and really kind of like hitting rock bottom for me to become this self-confident, self-loving bitch. And now that it's happening, like I'm exuding that confidence more and it's just making me feel better and better and better. And like every day I look in the mirror and something new is different or changed or I'm like not worried about my chin or anything like that. And it just makes me feel really good, really happy. And I wanna keep this up and I wanna keep going. So we will be continuing this into February. We'll be focusing mostly on the booty in February because Professor X, true say the back ain't there, but the brain is brilliant and I gotta get both brilliant. You get me, Jamie. All right, <laughs> let me bust this out. Uh, I'm super excited. I'm on a five, maybe I'll go on a six for 15 today, who knows? And I'll see you guys in like 45 minutes. 
<sighs> okay. <sighs> that was intense. Oh, excuse me. Um, <sighs> felt good. Hate myself a little. But I want to give a huge shout out to Eleanor Neal because without her and this, these stories, these true crimes, I don't think I would have lasted today. Holy shit. Because I was working my ass off. Pumping like a motherfucker. All right. I'm actually going to do a first ever booty workout. So I'm going to film that. Um, and then maybe I'll jump in the shower. I don't know, because I might row again later. So I don't know if I will jump in the shower, but a cold one would be really nice right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sweating my balls off. <sighs> oh, goodness gracious. So, this is my first time using a booty band. I'm gonna have to watch some more tutorials and videos on proper form, of course, you know me, like I just jump into it. I think it has to go lower than where I'm putting it, that's why I adjusted it in the last 10, but I'm not too sure, like I don't, I have to watch videos, because I had a friend of mine suggest, and he said to do banded sumo squats, and I've never done sumo squats like that before, so I just, I have to, watch enough videos and copy form and get it right, but I'm sweating my balls. But I'm sweating, I'm feeling good, I'm gonna shower, and then I'm gonna cook. Alrighty, so I actually don't know what happened to Friday and Saturday. I had all this stuff on this memory card and then just it wasn't working, it wasn't being able to put in my computer, it was coming up as a missing file, but basically they were just boring days. It was just me kind of doing what I've been doing, <laughs> waking up at late morning, early afternoon, doing rows, having breakfast, working on my computer, um, doing a couple of different endeavors, figuring life out. It was, you know, the week started very, very, like I said, it wasn't a shitty start to a shitty week. It was a shitty ending to a shitty week. And then I started Monday, wallowing and then from there on I kind of went up and got a bit more happy and excited and I'm even more excited with the way things are going so far the announcements I'm going to be making literally tomorrow as you're seeing this video it's going up on January 31st probably at like 10 p.m. and I'm going to be making an announcement video tomorrow February 1st for all of my lovely subscribers who have only subscribed to me because of a six-year-old broad video but yeah the, um that was my last week of Febs Gets Fit for January. Like I said, I am gonna continue it. I, ha I did also just, oh, so you know, I have maintained rowing for 45 minutes. Um, and the other day I actually did a two a day while I was making my like eggplant parm thing, um, which I don't think I actually talked about with you guys, but hey, there's always February. But I did maintain rowing and doing my booty, booty workouts from uh, Wednesday, Thursday onward, and I'm gonna keep doing that. So I am gonna be doing like weekly vlogs still. They are gonna be talking like, still maybe kind of Febs Gets Fitzy, but more just like vlogs in general. And um, I like it. I like that this kind of brought me back. I like that it kind of held me accountable and I like that how I look right now and how I'm gonna keep looking because I'm gonna keep progressing and keep working and I've got nothing but time, so like I keep saying. But I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. Make sure you comment down below. You're subscribed or gonna be a subscriber. Welcome, welcome back, whatever. And I will see you guys tomorrow in my announcement video and then later in the week with a conclusion of Febs Gets Fit and a continuation on Sunday of what my butt workouts look like in February. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Love you guys, bye.